Hi, Brooke with Stable Canine Training here with another Have a Stable Dog tip. Today's tip is going to be about loading in the vehicle. Um, there's going to be times where you need to take your dog along or you want to take your dog along and having them willingly load up makes things a lot easier. This dog here, she seems very excited. <laughs> She's in training with me. She just started a few days ago, so you can see the manners and all of that are a little lacking, but that's okay. Um, she has not been in my truck yet. So I'm going to just demonstrate how I get a dog into my truck the first time. Um, this is going to be applicable whether you're getting in the back of a truck like this or they're getting into your van or your car or whatever it may be. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, of course, have a leash on the dog. I'm going to have the door to the kennel open, ready to go. And then I'm going to have something really high value to give them, especially, you know, this one's some dogs aren't food motivated. Most are. She's very food motivated and I have chicken here. So her eyes just kind of like popped out of her head. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to just kind of test the waters and see if she'll just jump up on the tailgate or if she'll even just jump all the way in the kennel if I toss this in. So let's just see what she does. Come on, get up. I'm going to show her it's in there. And then I'll usually do kind of like a little loop. Come here. Come here. She's ready to go. And I'm just going to kind of, let's go, let's go. Oh, good girl. And then I'm just going like, to see how I kind of caught her and put her in. So she tried to, when she got up here, she decided she was going to put the brakes on. So be ready to grab a collar. I put my hand right underneath like their belly and their waist, and I kind of just slide them in. Um, and now I'm going to take her out. I'm going to do it again. But again, key thing being, I'm not going to let her blast out of here because she's kind of like, I don't know if I like that. Um, she did eat the chicken, so that's good. So I'm just going to have my leash ready. I'm going to let her come out. Try to have the leash loose and she jumps down. You don't want her to jump down and hit a tight leash. And then we're going to do it again. So she's kind of ready now. No more chicken? Okay, Millie. And also, I'm going to make her wait. Even if I toss this in right now and she tries to jump in there, I'm going to make her wait for me to tell her to get in. Ready? So I'm going to back her up a little bit. Get a running start. Let's go. Up, up, up. Good girl. And be ready to swing that door shut just so they can't spin around and get back out. So she's kind of thinking this is a good deal. She gets some chicken. Um, but that's as easy as it is. Be careful if it's a dog that, you know, there's a chance it could bite you. Um, then I'm just going to use a lot more leash pressure. Um, and I'll try to get their paws up on here. And if it's a dog I'm unsure about, I'll kind of do like a swooping, just like, whoop, I'll get them in before they even realize I put my hands on them. Um, but I find most dogs, if you have really high value food, you make sure they see you put it in there. And I'm talking like chicken, steak, not kibble or even treats from the store. Something really high value. Then the running start is the other key. I go back six, seven feet away. And then I just use a leash and excitement. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And they kind of just whoosh, jump right in. And then be ready as soon as they hit here to block and kind of like guide them in and then shut the door right away. We don't want them to get up here and then spin and go jump down because then they're going to just, that'll be what they do, refuse. So that is as easy as that. Um, I'll do this with several different dogs. This one was pretty easy. Some resist more. Um, so I'll try to do more examples, but that's my process. See you next time. Hi, Billy. Good girl.